Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Oh, how are you? Good, good, good. Good to see you, teacher. Good to see happy, you. Happy teacher days. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, guys. That's very kind of you. Uh, it was uh, it was great to to have your your wishes to see your wishes and your greetings on the WhatsApp group. Thank you very much. It was very nice. Uh, all right. So now what we are going to do is uh, this. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, experiences in the past, and we are going to make sentences with the present perfect okay um, ya les mandé les mandé una lista de verbos hace poquito les mandé una lista de verbos ahora nos vamos a enfocar eh, nos vamos a enfocar en la tercera columna es decir en el cómo se llama eh, en el pasado participio o sea for example we have uh, we have the verb uh, Go. Tenemos el verbo go. El pasado es go. El when? pasado es uh, y el la tercera forma when? es gone. Ok. Gone. Ahí lo van a ver en la, en la lista que les, que les mandé en el, en el grupo de WhatsApp para que puedan, uh, para que podamos irle repasando porque ese es, esos son los verbos que vamos a utilizar. Ok. So, yeah. Let's get this done. Ok. Let's begin. So, first things first. All right, great. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo fue la semana? How was your weekend? Was it good? Hello? Did you have a good weekend? It was a great, it was a great weekend. It was a great weekend. And what did you do? What, what did you do? I went to visit it to my mom. You visited your mother. Okay, that's good. It's very good. Yeah. It's very good. I had three, three months to to don't see her. Okay. Yeah, I imagine. It, and then it was great to see again. Yeah, same story mm. with me. I haven't seen my mother probably in a few weeks, like two or three weeks. And uh, I I miss my family too because we don't uh, we we didn't see each other very often but we went out every sunday every sunday we went out probably to have pupusas in los planes or or uh, mm -hmm. we order food together and uh, now we can't it's Thanks. not possible yes so i miss my family too uh -huh. yes and uh, I haven't yeah. seen my seen Same my my brother in I haven't seen my brother and my mother since uh, since uh, June eighth probably yes around June eighth so yeah I miss them so well in uh, almost three is quick say again. Almost three weeks. Yes, you are right. Almost, uh, almost three almost weeks. Three weeks I, I, yes, I, I, and I and I miss and I miss my family so bad too. Yes, I do. I miss them so bad. All right, all right, great. So now let's begin. So let's practice first uh, a conversation. Okay, uh, let's listen and practice the conversation together. All right. So. Uh, Please look at my screen, though I need, wait a second, this is, okay, there we go. So let's, let's practice this conversation together. All right, here we go. Mm. So who else is in the session? Welcome, Jennifer. It's good to have you. So yeah, here we go. So in uh, in this conversation, we are going to learn about uh, present perfect. Can you see it on the screen? 
Can you yes. see it on your screen? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. you can? Yes, I see. All yes. right, great. Yes. So uh, please, uh, Jennifer, can you help me? Uh, I will answer your questions, okay? So you begin, please. Can you read the first line? Janet, I think, or Jen. Yes, can you read it, please? And, and I will answer your questions. Go ahead, please. Jennifer? It's great. It's great to see you, Tol. Have you been in New Orleans long? Uh, just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about our Riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that too. Have you ridden uh, in, a, in a streetcar? They, they're a lot, a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? Uh, you know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. All right, thank you very much, uh, Jennifer. So now, class, we are going to, uh, we're going to, we're going to work on a, on a present perfect, all right, present perfect. And uh, I'm going to mark some examples of a present perfect here. Look, uh, look at this. Have you been, all right, have you been in New Orleans long, okay? Have you been in New Orleans long? Uh, just a few days and so on. Look. Have you been? Okay, aquí el, el verbo be lo tenemos, o sea, el verbo be que significa am, is, are lo tenemos en past participle. Okay, I have been, uh, I mean, have you been in New Orleans long? Has estado, okay, es como que utilicemos el participio, has estado, ya estuviste, has estado bastante tiempo en New Orleans. And I go like, yeah, just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. Look, another question, otro ejemplo. Pero aquí tenemos una pregunta. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Okay, veamos esta palabra también es importante. Yet. Yeah, I've, already, I've been to one. Okay, I've already been. Okay, I've already been to one. Estas palabras, already, yet, Funcionan como la palabra ya o todavía en español, ¿ok? Uh, how about a riverboat, a riverboat tour? I've, ¿ok? I've already done that. ¿Quién se acuerda del pasado de did? Va, primero tenemos el, perdón, de do. Tenemos primero do, do, luego el pasado es, ¿quién se acuerda? Do, did. Y el participio es done. done, okay, done, all right. So, I have done it too. Have you ridden a streetcar? Ridden, ese es el pasado participio de el verbo ride. Es el pasado participio del verbo ride. Tenemos ride, como ride a car, okay, ride a car. ¿Cuál es el pasado de ride? With. Ride. Tenemos road. el... Please. Somebody road. said... Road. Yes, road. R-O-D-E. Road. -E. road. Y el participio es... Ridden. Okay. Have you ridden a streetcar? Uh, they're a lot of fun. All right. <laughs> okay, then uh, that's it. Those are examples. Ahora vamos a ver la fórmula de cómo formamos estas oraciones. Cuando utilizamos este present perfect, lo utilizamos cuando estamos hablando de eh, acciones que comenzaron en el pasado y que todavía tienen influencia en el futuro o que digamos o que continúan 
perdón, o que continúan en el presente. Por ejemplo, look, have you been to New Orleans long? Uh, have you been in New Orleans long? Vaya, él llegó a New Orleans algún día, ¿verdad? Llegó, llegó a New Orleans algún día y todavía está ahí. O sea, esto comenzó en el pasado, comenzó en el pasado y continúa en el presente. Ahora veamos aquí. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Le pregunta. Ah, si ya estuvo en un jazz club o y, o sea, ¿hace cuánto? Pues, o sea, tenemos como una línea de tiempo en la que se relaciona el pasado y el presente. Like, uh, I've already done that. I have already done that. O sea, que ya lo hice, ¿verdad? I have already, ya, acuérdense, already es como que utilicemos la palabra ya. I have already done that. O sea, ya lo hice. Aquí en el pasado, ¿ok? Pero siempre tiene alguna, alguna algo que ver con el, con el presente. ¿Ok? Uh, so here, the formula for a sentence, la fórmula para una oración es sujeto más el verbo have, ¿ok? Y en este caso el verbo have no significa tener, sino que es como que lo usemos como haber, ¿ok? Como el verbo haber, cuando decimos, ah, ya ha sido, por ejemplo, ya ha sido a Guatemala, ¿ok? Y en in, in English we say, have you been to Guatemala? Have you been to Guatemala? It's the same, it's a similar, es una, es una construcción parecida, digamos, it's a, it's a similar structure. Does anybody have any questions? ¿Alguien tiene una pregunta? So far, are we good? All good? Yes? Okay. It's okay. Yeah, all right, cool. So let's move on. Wait. Let's move on and uh, now we are going to check on more sentences. Right. All right, good. So, can you make a uh, sentences like this? Pueden dar algún ejemplo. Solo intentando, okay? You don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. No tiene que ser perfecto. Just give it a try, okay? Solo vamos a intentarlo. All right, can anybody give me an example, please? Like, for example, for example, I have, uh, I have uh, studied English uh, for, 10 years, for example. O podemos decir, uh, I, have, uh, I have taken an online course. I have taken an online course. All right? O por ejemplo, esto. I, I have had, I have had 10 phones in my life. Okay? I have had, he tenido 10 teléfonos. I have had 10 phones in my life. How about you? Can you give me any examples, please? I can give you an example. Anybody, please. Anybody. I have worked uh, for five years. Okay, great. And uh, where have you worked for five years? Or, or just general? Uh, I have worked for five years for the same company. Great, great. Uh, for a sugar meal. Great, that's a, that's a great sentence. Thank you, thank you very much. That's a great sentence. So, now let's check, let's check on uh, more examples. Anybody else, please? Anybody, does anybody else have another, um, another example to share? Mm, uh, I have, Lisa? Yes. Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead, please. Okay. And um, I have been at my job for three years. Great. Great. Very good. Very good. All right. Anybody else, please? Anybody else, please? I have hungry uh, since two hours. Oh, I got you. You can say, I have, <laughs> I have been hungry. I have been I have, hungry. I have been hungry. For, for two hours. 
for two hours. Okay, wait, please, wait. Wait, we can still make it. Falta poquito, falta poquito. Yes, yes, all right, good. So, uh, yeah, now uh, anybody else, please? Anybody else? Any other example? Uh, I have made many trips. Okay, great. Uh, you can say, I have made many trips to to different countries. You you know what you can to, say? Uh, yes. What you can say, uh, Carlos, is this. I have traveled to many countries, right? Uh -huh. I have traveled to many traveled. countries. Yeah, traveled. Okay. Mm -hmm. Al verbo travel, so se le agrega ed, okay, traveled. Ed. Ed yeah, traveled. ed. I have traveled to many countries. That's a good example. Great, very good. Now let's check how we make uh, sentences with uh, present perfect, with well, already uh, and yet, okay? So for example, look at this. Okay. Have you been to a jazz club? To a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several, or no, I haven't been to one. You know, has he ridden a streetcar? Oh, yes, he's ridden one. No, she hasn't. Okay. Has she called uh, home lately? All right. Yes, she's called twice this week. Oh, no, she hasn't called in months. Have you eaten uh, dinner yet? Yes. Uh, uh, sorry, have they? Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. Or no, they haven't eaten yet. All right, so there are, uh, here we have some contractions, okay? Acordémonos que el verbo have, el verbo have, eh, se puede conjugar de dos maneras. Para I, you, we, and they, para I, you, we, and they, utilizamos have. Pero para he, she, or it, utilizamos, which one? I have, you have, we have, they have, has, has right? So, he or she, or it has, okay? Entonces, para, podemos hacer esto, esto como se llama, podemos acortar la respuesta. Por ejemplo, I have, podemos decir I've, okay? One more time, I have, se puede... Uh, se puede reducir, se dice I've, ok I've, I've ok, I've. por ejemplo you have, se puede reducir y se dice you've you've you've, you've. you've. esa E al final no se pronuncia, se dice you've you've you've, uh -huh. you've. I've you've, alright um, and the, we can also reduce we can also reduce uh, the he, I mean, he has, he has like uh, he's, he's, he's. También podemos reducir she's, she's, or it's, it's, en lugar de it has. Otra vez, he, he has, he's, she has, she's, it has. It's okay, and uh, we have we've we've teacher. The, yes, I have a question. Yeah, please in go ahead. In this case, his cheese it is a similar uh, used to in the uh, present. Is yes, is is the is a i s. Exactly. I'm sorry. He, uh -huh. It's the same. It's the same. O sea, lo que, the same lo que contraction es, for both. Yeah, it's the same contraction for, for the simple present and the present perfect. It looks the same. Se ve lo mismo. But, <coughs> perdón, but uh, com, <coughs> ¿cómo lo distingue? How, how can you defer? Uh -huh. uh, how uh -huh. can you tell one from the other? Uh, Es por el, el verbo que le, que le sigue, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, oh, okay. de, digo, uh, she's my mother. Ok, she's my mother. Ah, ok, estamos hablando en presente simple, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, y, y si decimos, 
she's being married. Ah, okay. Ahora sí es presente. Es present perfect. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. has been married or she is being married for 10 years, for example. Mm -hmm. Ahí es cuando podemos repeat, distinguir. Repeat, please. Repeat the, the example. Uh, yes. She, she's been married for 10 years. She's mm -hmm. been married for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So that's... Uh, the that's, other case? Uh, she's my mother. She's my mother. Or uh, he's my boss. He's my boss. All right. Y suena lo mismo a decir, por ejemplo, he's been, I mean, he's been my boss for 10 years. Okay. He's been my boss for 10 years. ¿Cómo distingue en, en qué tiempo estamos hablando? Si le sigue un verbo en participio. Ahí es cuando usted uh -huh. distingue uh -huh. que está hablando del de presente perfecto. O sea, de algo que comenzó sí. en el pasado, hace 10 años, pero sigue vigente el día de ahora, porque él era mi, era mi jefe hace 10 uh -huh. años y todavía lo es. ¿Ok? Sigue sí, vigente eso. All right. Great. Uh, Oh, look, we can make contractions like haven't, okay, have not, haven't, or have not, or hasn't, hasn't, has not. Por ejemplo, decimos, uh, I haven't, I haven't been to Panama, for example. I haven't been to Panama. How about you? Have you been to Panama? Have you? I've been being in Panama. You, oh, okay, you've been to Panama. Great. Uh, so, look, uh, who, who said that? I think Milton, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Milton, ha Milton has been to Panama. Milton, have you been to Africa? Uh, no, I haven't been in Africa. Okay. So, look, Milton hasn't. Milton hasn't been to Africa. Okay, Milton hasn't been to Africa. So that's I have how I've been in San Salvador. <laughs> okay, great. You've been to San Salvador only. <laughs> All right. Good. But that's how you make the sentences, okay? Pueden utilizar también las 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 uh, contracciones o reducciones de estos verbos, okay? Um uh, the this is an affirmative sentence, okay? An affirmative sentence has this let's take let's take another look vamos a ver otros ejemplos por acá okay all right just uh, uh, let's load them anybody else more examples please more examples i want to hear more examples alguien que quiera compartir más ejemplos please anybody can you anybody can you share more examples please Mm. Anybody? Okay. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry. Maybe after some uh, some uh, some practice, we can make more. Okay. But vamos a ver la. I shouldn't have done that. Okay. Vamos a ver cómo se forma cómo se forma el, el present uh, perfect. How can we form it? All right. In a question. In a question. Uh, or in a sentence, in a sentence, we use, for example, the subject. ¿Quién puede ser el sujeto? I, you, we, they, he, she, or it. También, just a second, please. Sorry about the noise, guys. Uh, so uh, I was uh, I was I was saying uh, we we can make sentences with a subject. And subject can be I, you, we, or they, he, she, or it. It can be a person. For example, I said Milton has been to Panama. Okay. ¿Quién es el sujeto de esta oración? Milton. Okay. Milton has been to Panama. ¿Qué es esto? PP verb. 
es el verbo en pasado participio. How can we uh, locate or know what the, what the past participle verb is? ¿Cómo podemos saber cuál es el, el verbo en, en pasado participio? Veamos la, veamos la lista que les puse en, en, en WhatsApp. Hay, si se fijan, si se fijan, hay tres formas. Just scroll down, ok? Scroll down. Nos vamos hasta abajo y hay tres formas del verbo. Primero está la base form, ok? Que es el verbo normal, ok? Y luego, past participle. Teacher. Teacher. Okay. Yes? Teacher, for example, um, the teacher has given us a list of verbs. Exactly, yes. The teacher has given a verb a verb list. Yes, good, good. So uh, in the in your verbs list, uh, just scroll down and you will see this. Well, I think my camera is not working now. Let me see. All right. So in the in the verb list, you're gonna see this. Okay. Tenemos tres columnas. La primera es el verbo normal en presente. Second is a verb in simple past. And the third one is a verb in present, in, in past participle, in pasado participio. Entonces, utilizamos ese verbo para formar esa oración. In, then a complement. So, uh, for example, this. Look, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. I have had the same car for 10 years. Me, get, uh, well, not <laughs> 10 years, two years, <laughs> wait, no, one year only, I bought, I bought my car last year, yeah, I bought it last year, how about you, mm -hmm. can you, can you give me some examples, please, 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 I want you to give me examples about yourself, sobre ustedes, or about other people, o pueden darme ejemplos de otras personas, okay, Oraciones como estas. Y si no se sienten seguros sobre qué verbo usar, revisen la lista. It's no problem. Okay, it's no problem. We're learning, so we can do it. Um, yes, so yeah, let, let's check examples. All right, let's make more sentences. I had seen the TV for three hours. All right, you've, all right good. You've been watching TV. All right, you've uh, seen the TV. Yeah, you've mm -hmm. watched the TV for... That's mm -hmm, good. Yeah. That's a great sentence. All right, anybody I, else, please? Anybody else? Uh, I let's had have feet. Hi. Oh, excuse me, please. No, and you. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer. <laughs> okay. I have fit my car for two months. Okay, so you have fixed your car for two months. Okay. Yes. Yes. Good. Good. Somebody else, please. Jennifer, please. I have. I. I've. Uh, no, no, sé si no. Bueno, I. I have. Been. Two cars. Uh, I have had. Como I he tenido. Ha, ah, ¿verdad? okay. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. I have had two cars in my life. Okay, good. Me too. <laughs> Bless you. I have had uh, I have had uh, two cars in my life in my life. Yes. Okay. Or I have had. Yeah, I have had. Y ahí el pasado participio de have is had. Okay. Good. Good. It's pretty good. Uh, anybody else, please? Anybody else? More examples. Uh, how about? Uh, well, yes. Yes, Mike. Go ahead. Maybe a. I I don't know maybe uh, I used to play the trumpet before. Okay, good. That's in the past. That is in the past. Puede decir como por ejemplo cuánto por cuánto tiempo ha tocado la trompeta. O ya I no toca. Care. Do you do you still play? Uh, almost. Todavía almost. toca más o menos. Yes. In Twenty years. Uh, okay, good. Vamos a hacer la oración juntos, okay? I have, I have, puede decir, I have played, played, played the trumpet, the trumpet for 10 years, for example. Okay. okay. Like, uh, now, now it's your turn. You say it yourself. Ahora lo dice usted. 
I have okay. played. I have I, have played the trumpet for twenty years. Perfect. Yes. Good. Good. Okay. So Thank I you. have played the trumpet for twenty years. I have played the 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 bass guitar for ten years. Yeah, I have played the bass guitar for ten years. I like music too. All right. Good. Good. And uh, let's see, anybody else, please? Anybody else? More examples? The teacher has celebrated the teacher's day today. Mm, no. Yes, and no. The truth, the truth. <laughs> the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've, I have, I have received, I have received uh, many, many, uh, many wishes. I have received many greetings and wishes from my students and I'm and I'm very happy about it but okay. I haven't celebrated because my uh. Uh, my uh, my my wife is sick my um. woman is sick so uh, we were at the hospital all, all day today <laughs> so mm. we I haven't so. celebrated Yes, I haven't so, celebrated. Sorry to hear that. So sorry, teacher. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. But she's new, she's better now. She's better now. It wasn't it wasn't anything. It it wasn't big. It wasn't a big deal. Uh, it, was, okay. it was something simple. Thank God it was something simple. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Great. So so yes, now uh let's see more examples. More examples, please. Um I have this is my PC for eight hours this day. You have? You said you said mm -hmm. oh, my, right. Good. my computer for eight hours this day. Okay, great. That's a great example. So she has used her computer for yes. eight hours. Okay. Great, great, very good. Very good. So you see, we're mixing the the. We're already using it. We're already using the uh, using yeah. present perfect. That's very good. Let's look at more examples. I have worked yes for ten for twelve years in the same company. You've worked for twelve years in the same company, yeah. right? That that's good. You are a very loyal employee. <laughs> is it a good company do you think it's a good I, company i think yes mm -hmm. okay great that's mm -hmm. that's why you have been there for so long yeah i think it's more than 12, 12 years it's almost 13 yes because oh. if, if a company is good people stay in a company but if it's not good people come and go come and go come and go all right okay yeah and hey say goodbye yeah, they say goodbye <laughs> all the time. Yes, hello, goodbye. All right, good. So, look, we use this when we make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time. Uh, cuando hablamos de un tiempo como que indefinido, que no ha terminado. Por ejemplo, uh, look, it has rained a lot this year. This is true, right, about El Salvador. It has yeah. rained a lot this year. Yes, so this year is not over. El año no ha terminado, ¿verdad? This year is not over. So uh, that's why we use the present perfect. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Okay, today is not over. Or I have worked hard this week. Okay, so... The, this is an unfinished period of time. O sea, es un tiempo, periodo de tiempo que no se ha terminado. Y ahí es cuando lo utilizamos. ¿Ok? Porque nuestra acción comenzó. For example, this, this year started on January and it rained uh, in April. Y llovió bastante en abril. And it rained a lot in May. Y llovió un montón en mayo. And it continues raining today, this year. All right, so this year is not over. El, el año no ha terminado. Entonces, esta acción sigue como en vigencia. 
Look, repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. So they have been, uh, they have seen that film six times. So uh, for, example, for, for example, in my case, I have seen uh, Shrek a hundred times. And guess, guess what? I may watch it once again in the future. And there is no problem. <laughs> and it's no problem. Everybody <laughs> loves Shrek. Hey, yeah. is, is there a movie you have watched a lot of times? Have you watched a movie many times? Anybody? And tell me, I have watched uh, Die Hard 10 times. I have watched uh, uh, The Lord of the Rings, Harry in Potter. My yes, in, ahead, my, in my case, I have seen... I I have watched uh, yes. any any times as it seria any times many no. many, many. Times. ah okay I have uh, watched uh -huh. Harry Potter Harry Potter yes. many times <laughs> okay. good I I I I know the dialogues. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the the all uh, films of all films. Yeah. So oh, yeah, okay. that's it. Great. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Harry Potter is a is a is a long movie. Not yeah. my favorite, yeah. but it, it's it it's a it's a very good movie. Many people like it. All right. Great. So, uh, anybody else? Anybody else? Uh, anybody else about another movie? Anybody else? Let's. Uh, I have. I have. I have watched uh, Viking series. Yeah, Vikings. 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 Yeah. Vikings series all week. Okay, you've watched it all week. All right, great, very good. Now that you remind me about series. I've watched Dyke twice already, and I still don't understand it, but I like it. Yes, I At like this, it. Yes, it's a good. Yeah, it's it's, it's a, a good, good series. series. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a good series, but I still don't understand it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, anybody else, please? More examples. More examples. I watched the order by by two hours. For for two hours. Cuando queremos decir, we're gonna we're about to see this. Cuando estamos, cuando hablamos de, de digamos de un periodo de tiempo, o sea de, de como de una de la duración, utilizamos for. Okay. Uh, uh, por ejemplo. Okay, thanks. Uh -huh, yeah, that, yeah. So we we use for. Like for example, uh, you can say I have. Uh, I have studied English for one month, okay, for one month, for un mes. Mm -hmm. Great, great. All uh, right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Oh, how about this? Uh, I have ordered, I have ordered uh, food. I have ordered food uh, many times. In this, uh, in this, uh, in this quarantine, how about you? Have you ordered food? I uh, have ordered. Yes, you have. Yeah. All right. Good. Good. I yeah, have ordered hello. pizza like ten times. Can, can talk here, pizza have. China. Yes. China. <laughs> I have not ordered any time in this quarantine. You you haven't ordered food. Me anytime. too. All right. Wow, really? Why? Because you have time to cook, probably. Oh, really? No, but I am scared about that. This virus. Oh, you know, that, that's, that's probably a good reason. That's probably a good reason. I heard, Joy, I heard about a woman, mm -hmm. a woman that got infected from, a, from an Uber Eats delivery man. She was, really? yes, she was very cautious. She was very cautious. 
she sprayed she sprayed uh, the food with uh, with uh, with uh, detergents or, or whatever and uh, and yet she got infected probably from the change del, del, del cambio de las monedas mm -hmm. probably from the change or the money and then suppose we had to uh, wash all this or this yes you the you're point. you're supposed to but that woman mm -hmm. didn't do it that day i always mm -hmm. i always spray the change i get from from a, from the supermarket mm -hmm. or from the delivery man mm -hmm. but this didn't woman take. Didn't. teacher uh, how do you say this is my temor uh, that's what i fear that's what I fear. Okay. That is what I fear. That's what I fear. Oh, I see. I see. In my case. That's a good point. It's a good point. In my I case, I don't, I don't have uh, money because, uh, because uh, is the is the. How do you say una fuente de contagio? It's a, uh, how do you call it? It's a vector, it's a source of infection. Source of infection. Source, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the chat. Source, como fuente, yes. Source uh -huh. of infection. Source of infection, yes. Source of infection. Yeah, it's a source of infection. Source of infection. Ah, okay. It's a source. In my source case, uh, you use the, the the credit card or debit card. Okay. Oh. So, mm -hmm. oh, that's so a good idea I... too. That's a good idea too mm -hmm. to to use your credit card or your debit card. Yeah, because you don't touch the money. That's a good idea yes. too. Yes. So it, this is one of these uh, are some of the things we we have to do. All right. Yes. But you still have to take the the, the car or no? Or you are using the like the I don't know Wi-Fi. <laughs> I don't know that is the the, the small things the the car huh? is a Bluetooth. Uh, like Bluetooth. payment. Yeah. Or use online supermarket. Yeah, that's a good idea too to uh, mm -hmm. to order uh, to pre-order the your your uh, groceries. Yeah, pre it's prepayment. Uh, uh -huh. prepay to prepay mm -hmm. your order. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's good. That's good. Yeah. That's a good thing to do. Yes. So well, these are nice conversation. We, we <laughs> you see that's that's good because we are practicing our English. Yeah. So uh, let me see. We are going to continue working here with uh, already and yet, okay? All right, so already and yet are words, uh, are words that we use like, like uh, ya in español, okay? Las palabras already y yet es como utilizar la palabra ya en el español. Por ejemplo, eh, por ejemplo, Si se fijaron en la, en la conversación, le, ella le preguntaba, have you already, have you already uh, gone to a jazz club? Or have you already been to a jazz club? Le preguntó si ya había ido, ¿verdad? Si ya había ido a un, a un, uh, a un, uh, como un bar de, a un bar de jazz. Ok, entonces eh, se utiliza already y yet. Por, y por lo general se utiliza already en oraciones afirmativas. Look at this example. And you say oh, already, already, okay? Let's uh, look at an, an example. I already eat my dinner. Uh, you have already eaten your dinner during class? during class or before class before class <laughs> uh, okay fine <laughs> that's okay that's okay 
great very good so uh look look now uh we're going to talk about already and yet so already usually goes after have or has and uh, before the main verb so for example we've already had our breakfast okay we have we've already had our breakfast entonces already la posición es uh, after have or has and before the main verb o sea va después de have aquí have lo tenemos reducido we've we've en lugar de we have tenemos we've so uh, we've already had our breakfast Ahora veamos otro ejemplo. When are you going to do your homework? But, but I've already done it. Okay? But I've already done it. Ya lo hice, ¿verdad? But I've already done it. Entonces, eh, siempre va, o sea, por lo general va después del de auxiliar have y antes del verbo en participio. Ok? Aquí tenemos el participio de do. Do, did, done do, did, done para aprenderse los participios les voy a poner en el whatsapp chat una un, una canción una canción que es que es para niños de hecho pero con esa esa le ha ayudado a varios de mis, de mis alumnos en el pasado a aprendérselos los it's, a en sus... idea. Uh -huh. it's a good idea it's about a cat is, is your... and it's specific for us no, no, it's okay I mean a veces uno tiene que We are... Cuando like a child. Aprende, like a child, yes. You have to be like yeah. a child sometimes. Open, open, you know, open to learn. <laughs> yes. So the, the little cat goes, y, y, y el gato va y hace algo, y dice el verbo en los tres tiempos, en presente, en pasado y en participio. Entonces va el gato, por ejemplo, y dice, y dice go, went, gone. Y así va haciendo los verbos. Entonces ahí, para que lo vayan dando, Toda la semana y así se nos va a quedar. Ok, great. Uh, so, already. So, already in affirmative sentences. Ok. Y significa como, la, y tiene un significado equivalente a la palabra ya. Eso después lo vamos a ver. Ahora, aquí tenemos yet. Yet means uh, something that we expected, uh, that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Casi siempre va al final de una oración. Y casi siempre es en preguntas. Por ejemplo, uh, has the post arrived yet? The post es como que digamos the mail. Ok, aquí es como inglés británico. Ellos dicen post. Y nosotros decimos en americano decimos mail. Ok, mm -hmm. has the mail arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Ok, not yet. En negativos también se utiliza yet. Have you, got, uh, have you got ready yet? Look at the time. Okay? So that's how you use yet. Yet is usually at the end of a sentence. Uh, at the end of a sentence. And uh, usually in questions and uh, negative sentences. Okay? Negative sentences. So, for example, I haven't, uh, I haven't had dinner yet. Ok, I haven't had dinner yet. Va al final, todavía no he cenado, ok. So it works kindly, like, like callado todavía, ok. I haven't, I haven't had dinner yet, ok. Uh, how about you, have you had dinner yet? Have you had dinner yet? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. You have. Yes, I have. I have. Yeah. Okay, great, great. Very good. Very good. All right, great. Nice. So, um, how about how about this? Have you, uh, let me see. Have you, uh, have you had a, have you had a coffee yet? No, yet. Yes, yet. I have. You, you have, okay. Yes, Very I good. Have. Very good. So, uh, uh, let's go back to some examples. Okay. We'll probably do that, uh, that uh, speaking activity and we are going to look at more examples here. Okay. 
Y aquí tenemos más ejemplos de cómo se utiliza yet en esta conversación. Yet, ok, yet. Have you been to New Orleans long? Ok. Uh, have you been to a jazz club yet? All right. Eso casi siempre se utiliza cuando nosotros suponemos, ¿verdad? Suponemos uh -huh. que, eh, que suponemos que algo se tuvo que haber hecho, digamos, uh, cuando, uno lo, cuando uno lo pregunta. Por ejemplo, hagamos esto. Pensemos, eh, let's imagine, let's imagine, I am, I am a tourist, I am a tourist in El Salvador, okay? And let's imagine too, let's imagine that coronavirus doesn't exist, okay? Let's imagine coronavirus doesn't exist. No hay coronavirus, okay? Porque es lo primero que va a salir, yo sé. So let's imagine I am a tourist. I am a tourist in uh, El Salvador. And let's imagine there isn't coronavirus. So, uh, so I want you to ask me questions like this. Si se fijan, ella es una local en New, Or en New Orleans y él es un turista. Entonces, ella le pregunta si ha hecho como las cosas más, así como lo más, uh, lo, the most typical things in New Orleans. Si ha hecho como las cosas más típicas en New Orleans. Now, I am a tourist in El Salvador. I'm not from El Salvador. I am a tourist here. What questions would you ask me? ¿Qué preguntas me harían? Where are you from? <laughs> um, I'm from, yeah. I'm from uh, New Zealand. Okay, I'm from New Zealand. Okay. Had you visited the uh, Selectus in El Salvador? <laughs> super Selectus, uh, Super Selectus. Yes, yes, I have. I have already been there. I have already been there. Yes, I have. Okay, great. Another question. You can please also use uh, yet. Okay. Have you been in El Bocaron yet? Uh, no, I haven't been there yet. I haven't been there yet. I have seen pictures, but I haven't been there yet. Somebody else, please? Somebody else? Have, ha, have you taken a Uber drive, a Uber drive uh, right yet? Yes, I've already I've already done that. I have already taken an Uber here. The Uber here spoke too much. He spoke too much. <laughs> okay. Uh, Are you eating to a to uh, pupusas? No. Have you, have you eaten, eaten pupusas yet? Uh, yes, I have. I ate pupusas. And on my way from the airport in Oloquilta. Yes, I have. All right. Hey, somebody else, please. Are you dr drunk or chat yet? Oh <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I yes I have. Uh, I I drank or chata from a bag, from a plastic bag. It was a lot of fun. Okay. A los extranjeros les parece divertido que nosotros tomamos fresco en bolsa. Yeah. En <laughs> the, uh, the coconut too. En the what? The what? The, the coconut. coconut. Oh, yeah, that we drink straight from the coconut or, or that we yes. drink the coconut water, the coconut, coconut milk. Or, or, Coca -Cola or uh, too. Yeah, um, bolsa. ¿Cómo se dice bolsa? Back. 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 And the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Teacher. We, yes. Uh, everybody has been drunk Coca yet? Uh, Coca Cola. Uh, yes, I have. Yeah. Yes, I, have. I, have, I have. I have. I have. I have. I've drunk one glass today. Uh, one glass okay. only. Yes. All right. Great. Uh, anybody else? Let's let's uh, remember. I'm a I'm a I'm a visitor here. And uh, and uh, I I want to know the the country. So please uh, ask me. Have you been to Dunkel? Have you? 
Have you, uh, have you visited the Cathedral of Salvador? The Cathedral. Cathedral. The Cathedral. No, no, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But it's beautiful. Downtown, in San Salvador, downtown is beautiful. Yes. All right. Good, good questions. Anybody else? Anybody else? Have you been to Suchitoto? Uh, yes, I have. Yes, I have. I have already been there and it's beautiful. The lake, the, the lagoon, the lagoon is beautiful. Yes. 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 All right. Have you lost in the city? Uh, have you gotten lost? Gotten, uh, uh, have you gotten lost or got lost? Así oh. se, es como, es una frase así compuesta, got lost. Okay. Uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. I have a, I have a good, I have a good tour guide. I have a very good tour guide. Google map. <laughs> uh, Google maps. Yes. Yes. And I don't go to dangerous places. I only go to to safe areas. So in the lugares seguros. Yes. <laughs> Have yes. you had the opportunity to come to Costa del Sol? I don't know if it's correct uh, the question. Oh uh, no, I haven't been to Costa del Sol. I've mm -hmm. been to El Tunco. I have already been to El Tunco, but I haven't been to Costa del Sol yet. No, I haven't. All How right. do you bought any souvenirs? Uh, yes, yes, I have. I have bought many souvenirs. I bought uh, I bought uh, a yo-yo. I, I bought a yo-yo and I bought uh, a spin. I bought a spin, un trompo. I bought a spin mm -hmm. and a yo-yo. Yes. Yo -yo. <laughs> yes. All right. Good. So, uh, you guys, this class was only to get to know. Esta clase solo era para conocer, ¿verdad? O sea, y, y formar oraciones. Tomorrow we will have more conversation among you and practice, okay? So, okay. I guess, I guess uh, class is over. Please, si quieren, si, toda, si ya se sienten como listos, Pueden, eh, pueden comenzar a hacer el, 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 los, los knowledge checks de, de, este, de, esta, un, de esta sección, de, un, de la sección 5, que son sobre este tema, ¿verdad? Que son sobre, sobre, uh, sobre el presente perfecto, ¿ok? Y también okay. Eh, ya les voy a poner en el, en el, en el chat la, la canción que les decía para que ahí la vayan practicando y se lo van a aprender. Ya van a ver. Para que no durmamos. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you can, you can, but, but, but uh, at least, you know, basic no verbs, uh, at least basic <laughs> verbs, por lo menos, van a haber varios verbos que son como de uso común, de okay. uso común, de acciones físicas y, y cosas así que, que se van a ir aprendiendo poco a poco, all right? Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Thank you very much. I hope everybody has a great night and I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, thank you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night. Good night. Good night.